All right, so welcome back. I hope you've all been doing well. Um, tonight, we're going to talk about setting up a secure folder on your Linux installation. And as you know, with most things Linux, there are several ways to do this, but I'm using an application called VeraCrypt. And we'll talk briefly about what VeraCrypt is, how to install it, and of course, how to use it. Um, obviously, this being a super small channel, it should be clear that I have zero affiliation with the developers of this particular app. Um, it just happens to be the app that I prefer. So this should be a short video. Um, I did want to get something out while I'm still in the process of working through the Linux ecosystem setup. And I'm also going to be uploading an addendum video of sorts to the Steam library playthrough that we just wrapped up not too long ago. I would occasionally be updating the series um, once I bought five or more games through Steam. And I believe I'm going to buy one more game this weekend. So maybe sometime early next week, I'll go ahead and throw that video up. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So what exactly is VeraCrypt? Well, in simple terms, it's really just an open source uh, disk encryption software. And it's based off of the old TrueCrypt uh, 7.1a, which was discontinued back in 2014 um, after it was found to have some pretty serious uh, security vulnerabilities in it. And it, more or less, uh, the company IDRIX took TrueCrypt or took from TrueCrypt all the best parts and left behind the security vulnerabilities. Uh, it's written in C, C++, and assembly, and is, of course, free. Uh, so there are a lot of sites out there that go into the more technical details of the application, and I'll, I'll put those in the uh, description below so you can uh, browse those at your leisure. So what we are going to do, for all intents and purposes, is we are going to create a virtual encrypted drive that's only visible and accessible when it's mounted and we have the proper password. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the installation. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on this. Uh, the first thing we want to do is go to uh, the VeraCrypt website. It's uh, veracrypt.eu forward slash en forward slash code.html. And it's going to bring you to the source code page. Uh, we want to go to downloads. So click on downloads and then scroll down for a little bit. If you're using um, Ubuntu, Mint, Pop! OS, um, I would recommend selecting the second option, uh, Ubuntu 2.04. And going and clicking on that, uh, it's the D, it's a, it is the DEB file, and then let it download. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and click on it, and it brings up Eddy, and then you go ahead and click install. This is the easiest way to do it. Put in your password, hit enter, and wait for the installation to finish. All right, now we're installed. We can go ahead and close this out. Now we can go ahead and close out the browser. And then we want to go to our Show Applications option, click it, and then scroll down to see Vera Crypt. There it is. Go ahead and open it up. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a volume. So you can see there's multiple slots here for different drives if you want to create up to 64. Uh, we're going to go ahead and stick with uh, slot one. We want to click on Create Volume. And we have a couple options here. Uh, create an encrypted file container. Uh, creates a virtual encrypted disk uh, within a file. Recommended for inexperienced users or your average day user like myself. And then we have uh, the other option is encrypt a non-system partition drive. Encrypts a non... Uh, a, a, let me try that again. Encrypts a non-system partition on any internal or external drive, e.g. a flash drive. So if you want to create uh, your encrypted drive on a flash drive, you can do that. Uh, but for our demonstration, we're going to go ahead and just go with uh, create an encrypted file container. And then click next. And then we want to choose the uh, volume type of standard VeraCrypt volume. Uh, select this option if you want to create a normal VeraCrypt volume, which we do. You can also create a hidden VeraCrypt volume. Um, we, I'm not going to read through this, but you can click on the uh, hyperlink here. And it'll take you to a website with more information on that. So let's go ahead and click next. Okay, now we want to browse to the location on where our volume is going to be stored. So I'm going to do select file. I'm going to go to documents. And then I already have a folder in here. So you're going to have to create a folder. And then inside that folder, uh, where's it at? The, I call it the vault. Uh, go into your folder. And then at the top where it says name, you want to name the file. I'm going to call mine private. And then hit save. All right. Um, now we can go ahead and hit next. And we have some options here for the encryption algorithm. There's AES, uh, there's Serpent, uh, Twofish, Camellia, and so on and so forth. Uh, for our purposes, we'll go ahead and just use AES. If you want more information on that, you can click on the hyperlink 
and it'll take you to that uh, that page and you can read all about it. And then for the hash algorithm, we have Shaw uh, 512. We also have 256. We have Blake uh, Blake 2's 256, Whirlpool, and uh, Streetbog. Uh, we're going to stick with Shaw 512. So just hit next. And the volume size. So depending on um, how much space you have free or, or how much you plan on storing in there, um, go ahead and uh, make your selection accordingly. I'm going to go with one gigabyte. And then we'll go ahead and hit next. Now we need to select a password. And for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use a simple one because I'll redo this after we're finished. And then hit uh, next. And if your password is too short, it's going to give you a warning. Short passwords are easy to crack using brute force techniques. We recommend choosing a password consisting of 20 or more characters. Are you sure you want to use a short password? And for this purpose is yes. Also keep in mind that you need to keep track of your password because if you lose it or forget it, you're not going to be able to get back into your vault. It's much like your crypto phrase. If you lose that, you're pretty much screwed. All right, uh, so volume format, uh, we have the usual suspects. We have NTFS, we have FAT, we have uh, Linux ETX2, 3, and 4. I'm going to stick with FAT and then hit next. Now, uh, I'm going to read this to you as I'm moving the cursor around. It says important down below, move your mouse as randomly as possible within this window. The longer you move it, the better. This significantly, this, uh, significantly increases the cryptographic strength of the encryption keys and then click format to create the volume. So we'll just keep uh, spinning this around until it's finished. And then of course, keep it within the window like the directions say. And we're almost finished. Couple more seconds. All right, now it, it does not give you a warning. So when the uh, blue bar is complete, go ahead and click format. And it'll take a moment and we're done. Uh, the VeroCrypt volume has been successfully created, so hit OK. And the VeroCrypt volume has been created and is ready for use. If you wish to create another volume, again, you can create up to 64. Uh, go ahead and click Next, otherwise click Exit. So we are finished, so we're just going to click Exit. All right, now we need to uh, browse to find our, our uh, container and then mount it. So we're going to go Select File, Documents, uh, we'll go down to the folder I created, the vault, and then uh, select private, hit open, and now we hit mount. Put in our password, and then it's going to ask for our system password. Hit enter, and it's going to mount, and there we go. Now you can see here at the bottom, I have a uh, thumb drive icon. I have 1.1 gig volume. I can go ahead and open that up. And I can copy and paste whatever I want in here and then uh, save it. Once the application is, well, once this drive is unmounted and the application is shut down, uh, this volume will disappear and you cannot find it unless you access it through the VeroCrypt application. Okay, so let's go ahead and move a uh, photo in here just to show you how it works. It's very simple. It's copy and paste, drag and drop. We'll go to pictures. I got a picture of the Mad Lad Jr. here. I'm going to copy that. So to browse to it through your files option, go down to other locations, click on the plus sign, and it'll show your volume here. I can paste it, and there we go. And I can uh, create a folder in here, memes, close it out, or whatever you want to keep in here. Go ahead and close out the folder. And then uh, when you're finished and you're done working, um, you can go ahead and hit unmount, and it's gone. The drive is gone, and if we go to our files, and we go to the locations, it's gone. So that data cannot be seen unless you mount that particular drive and you have the passwords for it. So pretty simple, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, is it foolproof? No, uh, nothing truly is, especially in the tech world, but it, it's a good tool to, to keep private a lot of the things that you don't want prying eyes looking at. All right, so now we're finished up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up and say thank you for watching. And um, if you got some value out of this and you enjoy this type of content, please consider leaving a like. It does help me out. And um, I'm, I'm inching closer to the 1,000 mark. So if you are not a subscriber and you've watched the videos in the past and you enjoy them, uh, please consider subscribing and help me get to that 1,000 milestone. I greatly appreciate it. And to all of you who are already subscribed, uh, thank you very much. A very hearty thank you very much. 
And um, stay safe out there. And I'll see you next video. Have a good one.